any more than just ask you to beg you just to keep it together. When the Rolling Stones came on, the violence increased, culminating in the death of a spectator just yards from the stage. I want him to die. I don't let him die. He won't die. <gasps> no, they're going to do everything in their power. But it no. can't hear his heart. No. Oh. The Altamont ended, ended uh, the 60s, ended, uh, it was December of 69 after all. I mean, the astrologers will tell you how the signs were, and it was bad. It was really bad. And that was the end of the peace, love generation, for sure. decade arrived, the psychedelic era seemed to be drawing to a close. People were no longer tuning in and turning up in Haight-Ashbury. The bands moved on, the community splintered, and a new sound emerged that moved away from the experimentation of the psychedelic era. Once again, the birds had anticipated the trend with their 1968 album, Sweetheart of the Rodeo. We'd already uh, known that country influence could work in pop music. We'd, we'd heard the Beatles song, Act Naturally, and I'd written Mr. Spaceman, uh, which was a 2-4. Hey, Mr. Spaceman, won't you please take me along? I won't do anything wrong. Kind of a countryish sound. And so uh, we started going in that direction, and we decided to do an album in Nashville and hired some country guys to come and help us out. appeared on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. We went to uh, the, the stage and we got out there and we played a couple of songs and people would yell, get a haircut, you know. What's the matter, did your barber die? Even the Grateful Dead went back to their roots to reveal a very different side of the kings of acid rock. The time was just right to st for us to, to move from what we'd been doing to try and learn how to make concise songs, concise statements. At the times they were a changing. It was it was clear that it was clear even uh, before Altamont that, uh, in fact, way back in '67 in the so-called Summer of Love, that that it couldn't continue the way it was because people people were getting crazy, people were getting hurt. In the '70s, country rock would slide effortlessly into the laid-back West Coast sound, while introspective singer-songwriters explored the fallout of the '60s. The trip was over, the flashbacks yet to come, the beings and happenings faded into legend. 